I added eggs to lime. How I didn't do it before. I will start by putting 4 eggs and 3 sliced limes in a blender. Then I will add half a cup of oil. A cup of milk. And then I will start beating so that everything mixes very well. And before I forget, tell me which city you're watching so I can send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Mark Ellis from the United States. I'm glad you're enjoying our recipes. Once this is done, I will take our mixture from the blender and transfer it to a container and sift. Now with the help of a spoon I will press the mixture into the sieve to facilitate the separation of the pieces of lime from our mixture. Then, I will sift a cup of sugar. Make this recipe at your house and then come back here to tell me what you think. Then I'm gonna stir everything up real good. This recipe is amazing, I'm sure the result will surprise you. Then I will sieve also, 2 cups of wheat flour and then I will repeat the process of stirring very well, so that everything is mixed. Tell me if you have any differentiated recipe with eggs and lime, I would love to know. Now I will add a tablespoon of baking powder and I will stir everything one last time. Has become one of my favorite recipes since and the first time I tried it. Next I will take a pan and spread some butter with a brush to grease. Then I will put a little flour and balance well to spread all over the corners, this will help our recipe not stick when it is ready. Now I'm gonna pour our dough into the greased pan. This recipe has become routine here at home, I'm sure it will become routine in your home too. Then I will bake in 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Time spent with the help of a dish I will disinform our recipe. And our recipe is ready, look how beautiful it was. Now just serve and enjoy this delight. People I love this recipe, I'm sure you and all your family will like it too, I do it myself every weekend, and when I do nothing, my family loves it and asks me to do it forever. This recipe is amazing, it's quick, easy, there are few ingredients and best of all, it's delicious, there's no reason for you not to do it at home. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, thank you so much for watching this video so far, I'll see you in the next video, bye.